rising Latin culture in this league and its fans all around the globe. A great tradition we get to enjoy. With Brent Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. Person is out there with Shrimp. Then it's Miller, and it's Fleming in at the point guard position. And it's going to be the Pacers off the tip. Here's Indiana. Opening night, Brent, always exciting. Technically, every team is undefeated. With uh, a lot you, of hope. You're just fired up. I mean, the off I am fired the up. NBA never stops, Kevin. We I know, know this, right? right? Isn't off it great, though? I'm so oh. glad it doesn't stop. Oh, the offseason is, is just absolutely ridiculously so exciting. So fun. So much movement and hope for franchises that, uh, you know, have struggled for a long time. And, and here we go. Hope springs eternal. It's opening night. Here's Smith. Here's Shrimp. It's the difficult fadeaway jumper. And tonight, a matchup of inexperienced teams, young ball clubs. Brent, talk about some of the challenges that come with coaching a team so young. I think the idea for most of the coaches is they see it in the eyes of the players. They want everything now. They want it so fast, and they're not quite sure about the steps to get to the end game. That's the most important thing for coaches to talk about the small steps throughout any given season that the coach can put in front of them. And some of those challenges, you, you find out also which of the guys are willing to accept the team challenge as opposed to the individual but challenging nonetheless in every way oh yeah and for eight months of it Kevin yeah. so get ready for massive <laughs> parenting for, for the year for this coaching staff it's hauled in by Newman New York's gone 0 of 2 from deep here well the Knicks had a lot of turnover trading for expiring contracts they did what they could to accommodate the wishes of a lot of vets yeah, the problem right now for the Knicks is they're not inviting to a lot of free agents and that's really where they're trying to make their play. So fascinating over the course of the past decade that New York has not been able to attract the top-tier talent. So building through the draft, Coach Fisdale hopeful that they'll land a star one way or another. Here's Jackson. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Look at the space he had on that one, though. There's an obvious speed mismatch between the two. Pass to Person, and it's Miller in the corner. Shot from the wing, and he hits the jump shot. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Newman. He can't get it to go. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Fleming the pass to Person. Here's Miller. It's tipped. Here's Newman. Puts it up from 17. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. Here's Miller. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. This is his first free throw of the game. Both free throws good for Miller. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Here's Wilkins. Here's Ewing. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now, here is Miller. Nice shot from the wing. He was wide open, but just to make sure, he put a little fade on that jump. And there's the pass to Newman. Outside, Wilkins. With the teardrop, Miller grabs the miss. Indiana leading by five. 
Picks one up, and it's good on the way in. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And Jackson gets it to go. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Passes it to Fleming. Pass to Smiths. Puts it up. Miller outside. Just five to shoot. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. Miller's got eight. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for New York. They trail by seven. Here's Newman. He's covered by Person. Here's Oakley. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Fleming, guarded by Jackson. To the right side. Miller outside. Person, the pass to Shrimp. Over Oakley. No good from Shrimp. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50 50 balls also going their way. Shrimp with a steal. Miller outside. No good. And he's three of six from the floor. Knicks trail by five. To the left wing, Newman. And that one drops for him. Brett, so many guys are now shooting from well beyond the arc. Who do you think has the deepest range in the league? I think Steph Curry has the, the most consistent, deepest range. He is Lillard in, is in that category. Lillard is in there. And, and, and of course, last year's playoff win will, will never uh, go away right. in terms of uh, what a great memory that was. Trey Young is is now entering that category, Kevin. Yeah, I mean, we saw name. that at the end of last year. Uh, his fearlessness in pulling up from just about anywhere has been pretty remarkable. And to that, I will add one Brooklyn Lopez who has found his way well beyond the three-point line. He's a whole nother conversation. We'll talk about him later. We'll do that. New York shooting their first free throws here for the night. And he sinks the second. You know officials try to be as objective as possible, Brent. It does sometimes feel like we get superstar calls, correct? I think there's absolutely superstar <laughs> calls, Kevin. And, you know, the, the purest of me wants the referees to keep it fair. But understanding that the game is entertainment and understanding what it takes to be that level of player, every now and then seeing a guy like James Harden get a few more free throws or watching Giannis find his way to the line a few more times, I shrug my shoulders and I say, yeah, I actually kind of get it. Yeah, good examples. Indiana leading by four. It's Miller on the wing. Puts it up from 17, and the Pacers tack on two more. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Here's Strickland. He kicks to Oakley. Here's Ewing. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. So I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Knicks shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. Both free throws good from Ewing. Indiana leading. Pass to Miller. Over Wilkins. Unable to get that one. So New York will take it the other way. Here's Strickland. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Inside. Got a piece of it. A nice shot by Ewing. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. To the middle. the pass to Strickland. It's up a three. Miller grabs the miss. Indiana's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Walker with it, and it's Miller picking him up. 
Here's Vandaway. Sanders covering. Vandaway misses. And uh, Indiana shooting at a nice 53% rate to start the game. They are sticking to the campaign. Here's Fleming and a wide open look for Sanders. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. And the Pacers lead by four. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Passes it to Vandaway. Shot clock at six. Pass to Strickland. On deep. It's rebounded by Indiana. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Yep, it counts. And now a six-point pacer lead. Yeah, that's not an assignment that I want there, Kevin. I'd rather do math homework than to try and cover that guy. Pass to Vandaway. Miller against Wilkins. Here's Ewing. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And while we've got this moment here, now let's take a look at last season's leaders in converting turnovers into points. In third, the Pacers. And they turned all those mistakes into points at the other end. That aggressive style really yielding big dividends. He misses the free throw. He doesn't get the second one. And the missed opportunities for them at the line here early on. The drive by Green. Here's Thompson. And the officials call over the back. A little too aggressive there. And that's his second foul already. And that's going to force him to tone down his aggression defensively. The Knicks trail by six. Well, Fisdale, part of those great teams in Miami as an assistant coach with Eric Spolstra. He coaches with a lot of fire and enthusiasm. He's very involved emotionally in what his team does on a daily basis, and that's why a lot of these young players are gravitating towards his coaching style. Here's Strickland. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Left side, Walker. Good D by Sanders. Pacers leading by six. Miller, that's for two. Strickland grabs the board. And New York hoped that Fizdale's likability would be a factor in free agency. Yeah, I think it's going to help the Knicks as they move forward here. Try to find some stability with their coach. That way David Fizdale and his messaging can remain consistent with the type of players that they try to attract here to Gotham. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Vandaway misses. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him. To end the drought. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First trip to the line for him here. The first free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 46 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Green, the pass to Person. From deep. No good that time. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Outside, Wilkins. Reverses. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. And that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. And it's Miller in the corner. Indiana again turning it over. Wilkins against Miller. Now here's Wilkins with one on the clock. And so the first quarter is in the books. Pacers lead by four. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back.